So one of the questions I asked some of my Year 12 health students was why they picked this subject. And for them, um, they're interested in their passion about health, be it their own health, health of those around them, global health. You know, health is a very broad topic, so for them it was interesting, it was something they were passionate about, they wanted to know more about, they wanted to know how they could improve their own health. So that was some of the key, the key themes that were coming up as to why students picked this particular subject. Then a lot of the topics are negotiated, so students can pick a, either as a class or individually what they wish to look into. Um, but they will know, they'll deepen their understanding of a lot more health issues, be it uh, within Australia, happening around them, but also globally. And I think that's also something that draws the students in, that it really opens their eyes up to what, what's going on around them in a bigger picture. They'll be able to identify greater understanding of health issues. They'll be able to um, identify ways in which they can improve their own health, as well as health of those around them. We also spend a bit of time looking at what goes on in schools under health and perhaps what more schools could be doing. We look at health organisations um, relevant to health issues, so no prerequisites. The girls can come into health, they can do U12 health without U11 health and that's generally fine. Um, we can certainly work to support them and bring them up to where they need to be, so no prerequisites at all. So the externally assessed piece um, is a investigation or an inquiry based topic, again this is a health issue of their choice, can be within Australia, can be globally, totally up to them, um, and they really dive into the health issue, they look into what it is, is it current and relevant, some key statistics, they look at how the issue impacts the health and wellbeing of individuals and the community, and then there's actually a practical component of this task where they get to, I guess, apply themselves to the issue. And again, that's something that the students find quite rewarding because they can see that the outcomes, they can see the benefits or the impacts that they're having on either themselves or others around them. Health is changing as of next year and we're moving to be called health and wellbeing. So there will be a, some slight changes in terms of the content and the assessment pieces, but pretty much it will stay very much the same. Health is such a broad topic, it really is open-ended in terms of what pathways um, students can choose to take with health. So, you know, it can be in the field of human movement, um, health and human movement, education, nutrition, sleep, mental health, um, you know, sport related uh, topics. It can really, it's open as to, you know, where students can go with, with health. It's current and it's relevant and it's happening around them all the time. So it's, it's, it's all around them. It's something that they're often passionate about. Um, they're aware of you know, how they can make a difference by increasing their knowledge in health for both themselves but those around them.